Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Belle and this is your third stimulus update for the third stimulus package for Tuesday, February 23rd. In this video, we'll be chatting about the third stimulus check package being passed through the house this week and what can you expect next. We'll also be chatting about payment size, a timeline, and who could qualify for the third stimulus check. All right, I hope you're doing well wherever you are. I hope you're staying safe and warm given the climate we all find ourselves in. If you're new here, guys, consider subscribing to the channel below. I really appreciate it if you can do that for me. And don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up so it can get out to more viewers like yourself. It really helps the channel out. Also, guys, don't forget to leave your comments and questions in the comment section below. All right, let's get started. President Joe Biden's $1.9 trillion stimulus package advanced out of the House Budget Committee on Monday and is virtually set for a House vote later this week. Democrat led by Speaker Nancy Pelosi are expected to pass it along party lines Friday or Saturday. If passed by the House, the bill will proceed to the Senate where some of the bill's biggest provisions such as the $15 minimum wage could be cut. Notwithstanding House GOP objections, the bill is widely expected to advance to the Senate after the House vote for it later this week. Then it's expected to face a new round of hurdles. Republicans in both House and the Senate have criticized the bill as too large, especially in the light of the Congressional Budget Office report that showed a strong economic recovery on the way even without more relief. The GOP has also opposed Democrats' effort to include the minimum wage, measure that ought to be considered separately from the pandemic relief. There have been a lot of attention paid to the $15 Washington mandated in this bill and whether Democrats will shred the reconciliation process in order to force it through. But also concerning is how this policy will destroy millions of jobs, at least 1.4 according to the Congressional Budget Office, and disproportionately harm low-wage workers, disabled workers, and less educated workers. The Senate will conduct its own review loaded with political haggling and bantering. Some of the bill's most substantial provisions, such as some of the bill's most substantial provisions, such as paid sick leave expansion and $15 minimum wage, could be edited out of the final legislation as Senate Democrats wade through the budget restriction. All eyes are on the Senate, a relatively obscure official who decide which bills qualify to pass the chamber via reconciliation with the simple majority. Their job is to determine whether Biden's relief bill, including the 15 minimum wage hike, meets the standards of the rule. What do you guys make of this? Let me know down below what you guys think. These are some of the details that you need to know right now, such as the payment size, the timeline, and who could qualify for the third stimulus check. But before we get started on this topic, I wanted to address some of you guys who receive certain social security benefits, such as SSI, SSDI, VA benefits, survival spousal benefits, and the likes. We have been discussing the $200 stimulus relief bill that President Joe Biden did state in his proposal during his campaign. But as of right now, guys, there have been nothing stated about that to answer some of the questions that I frequently get often. So I went over the bill. Many things are included in this third stimulus check, but it doesn't appear relief for those who are on social security benefits. The additional $200 that was promised is included. What I would advise for you guys to do right now, wherever state you stay at, please contact your local congressional leaders and let them know that $200 stimulus relief for those who receive social security benefits is necessary during these times that we all find ourselves in. Let me know if you have any more questions. I'll be more than happy to help. By the end of this week, the details of the third stimulus check should be smoothed out, giving as a better idea how much money you can receive. Currently, the House of Representatives is working on finalizing the payments details as part of President Joe Biden's $1.9 trillion stimulus package. The goal is to have this done by mid-March so those who receive unemployment benefits do not have a break in their benefits. One of the questions that I get quite often is how soon could Congress pass a third stimulus check? The plan is to have the COVID-19 stimulus bill clear the House of Representatives by the end of this month and then go on to the Senate before going to Biden for approval by March 14th. If the Democrats plan to use a powerful legislation tool, tool works 
A third stimulus check could arrive later in March for the first wave of recipients. But whenever the bill does pass, assuming that it happens, it doesn't mean everyone will get their funds immediately. When could the IRS actually send out the third round of checks? Would it have another deadline? The IRS and the Department of Treasury took just days to deliver the second stimulus checks, starting shortly after former president signing the December stimulus bill. They had no choice. The language of the bill provided only a 17-day window to send the checks. There were millions of direct deposit errors, and now anyone missing stimulus money will have to claim it as part of 2020 taxes. Yes, even those who otherwise do not file taxes will have to do that in order to get their second stimulus payment. It appears that the IRS would automatically send a third check to recipient as it done with the second stimulus payments with taxpayers and non-filers alike claiming any missing money and a recovery rebate credit. What can I do to get my third stimulus check faster? Your stimulus check and taxes are tightly intertwined. There are some important things to know about how your taxes can affect whether you qualify for a third payment or not. Your 2020 adjusted gross income will be the determining factor if you get a third stimulus payment or not. If you file your taxes sooner, you can get a refund in addition to missing stimulus money the faster you do. What else could still change with a third stimulus payment? Besides possibly setting a hard income cap to qualify, the proposal embraces two changes that have been popular among Democratic lawmakers. The first would expand stimulus check qualification to dependents of any age, including 13.5 million more people. That include college students, older adult relatives, and dependents of all ages with disabilities not just those under 17. The second major change would include mixed status households, those who have family members who are U.S. citizens. Why some people could get a smaller amount of stimulus money with the third set of checks. A targeted income limit that cuts off all household above a certain threshold is one way a household can get less stimulus checks than the total. Why others could expect more money in the third round, even if it's a targeted check. A larger maximum total per person is an obvious way your household will see more money from a third stimulus check. But there's more to that. Since the upper limit for a second stimulus check was $600 per adult, with an extra $600 per child dependent, more people hit the upper income limit for receiving a second payment. A third stimulus check could make more groups of people eligible to receive more money. A change to circumstances might also mean you qualify for more money this time. Let me know down below if you have any additional questions that I did not answer in today's video. I'll be more than happy to answer it in the next video. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, I really appreciate it. And don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up for me to let YouTube know that you like what it is that I'm doing here. As always, guys, keep your hands clean and we'll talk soon.